Good afternoon everybody and today I got a good one for y'all today we are exploring the safari this is a three bedroom two bath mobile home final skirting throughout the outside real nice real simple clean looking you know I like that black on white look you know it gives that modern style All right, now we're gonna go ahead and step on inside. Check it out. Remember, if you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel yet, please feel free to do so. Um, it is definitely appreciated. It helps out our channel and we appreciate it. All right, as soon as you step in, this is your living room area. It's really nice, I like that wall. These right here is just temporary. That's not going to be there once the house is actually set up. But you kind of get an idea of what it'll be like. I mean, you could easily put a TV on that wall right there and like make your living room a lot larger, or you can put it on this wall and that give it a little bit of a character, you know, and some got good recessed lighting right there. Good natural lighting throughout. This is the kitchen. Really big island. Enough to fit like four or five people right here to eat breakfast or lunch in the afternoons. I like this spot right here. You could put like a little armoire right there for like, you know, like a temporary pantry or something, you know? And because I noticed that in this house there is no pantry. You got a nice little simple little vent hood, stove range, range hood. Sink. It's got the basic deep double sided sinks, metal. Good open space right here to put your uh, dining room table. I believe this one was uh, like 109,000 or something like that. This is your laundry room. This will be where your dryer will go, your washer, and then you got that little shelf right there to kind of help out with a uh, Put your uh, laundry soap and stuff like that on there. This right here would be where your furnace is. Yeah. Pretty spacious little closet right here. It's furnace and your uh, water heater. Oh yeah. Good. It's real nice. And look, you got a little panel right there, I think where you can access it on that other side and you can also work on it through there if you need to. That's pretty handy. Hopefully you wouldn't have to do all that, but yeah. You never know, man. You just never know. That's where you break a panel with this. All right. This would be your side door coming in from like a garage. Come in, you got your kitchen. Your 
hallway. It does come with the Smart B, or you know, whatever they call that, and Smart Thermostats, where it's Wi Fi capable. You can hook your uh, iPhone or your Android device up to it. All right, back here we got two bedrooms and I believe a bathroom as well. This is the first guest room. This thing is a lot bigger than the other one we looked at. A lot bigger. I mean, good grief. It's a big ass room. This is your closet right here. I believe it's a walk-in. Yep, really big walk-in closet. Good grief. Huge. Yeah, I like this one. This one's real nice. It's got recessed lighting in here. Yeah. I'm gonna probably have to put some lamps in or something like that or somewhere up in here on the dresser. Alright, and this is your other guest bedroom. This one's just as big too. If not maybe a little bit bigger. I mean go. I'm in the corner of the room right now. And this is it. This is how big the room is, man. I mean, I'm not sure if y'all can understand it or get the you know best feeling of it off of video. But personally, being in this room, it is freaking big. Plenty of room for at least two people. I mean, two small children, you share a room. Great size. Still have their space and not have to be on top of each other. That's your uh, another walk in closet. This thing's just as big as the other one. Yeah. Alright, coming out the bedrooms, off to your right, you got your guest bathroom or children's bathroom. However, you want. You got his and her sinks, plenty of cabinet space for toiletries and towels and whatnot. I like that. Because, you know, on the very bottom, you can put towels and, you know, and then in the middle, you can put like your toothpaste and stuff like that and all kinds of good stuff. It's got the round porcelain sinks, which is nice. Yeah, they're really, real nice. I like the fact that each person got their own mirror. And then in here, you got your toilet. Tub and shower combo. It's not a bad size little tub either. I mean, I would actually have to say it's probably a little bit deeper than one I have already at my house. Really opened up spacious bathroom right here. I like that. You know, this doesn't feel so cramped up. You know, when you're walking in there, you don't have to feel like you're. You know, touching either, you, know, you stick up both arms and hit the wall on either side. And here you got plenty of room. You get dressed, change, you know. Real nice. Alright, coming down here in this little hallway they got right now. Come down in here into the master bedroom. This is a really big room. I mean, so you understand how big the guest bedrooms were. This one right here. Is on a whole nother level. Like, good grief, man. You could put a bed and a little sitting area in here. Alright. Going off into the uh, master bedroom I and mean, the closet. This is our walk in closet. This thing is really big, too. I mean, I'd actually have to say, it's not as. not much bigger than the. The other two bedrooms, they're really not. I mean, you're seeing it, you know? 
I believe this is a good, I believe this is the uh, panel where you can access that water heater at. Yeah, you see those three, you know, little strip right there. I think that's it. I think this is that panel. <clears throat> Plenty of outlets throughout the house. I mean, not running short on that. This is a really nice bathroom as well. Double mirrors, his and hers sinks. Same vanity, same setup as the uh, other bathroom. But I mean, still, it's nice. You know, I mean, you got plenty of space in this room as well, in this bathroom. Natural lighting is not bad. And you have another closet, so I guess it makes up for the other one as well. And I'm pretty sure you have an option to, you know, make this one big bathtub and then you can probably put in a shower like right here because this right here is just a basic shower tub combo it's a really big round oval garden soaker tub which is actually nice i, know, I might have to I just probably just keep that keep it the way it is everybody wants that tub you know but me, I, I like the showers, you know, so, but I, I would literally, I would have to take a, you know, I, I'll sacrifice. I'll take a basic shower just for that way we can have a nice bathtub. For, only for the wife. Happy wife, happy life. Again. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty spacious in here, you know. I mean... There's a lot you can do with this space and just make it look gorgeous. I mean, I like how, you know, the ceilings are textured throughout. Real beautiful, real. It's got that warm vibe in here. Again, that, that island is pretty big. I mean, look at it. It's a big old island. Good lighting in here. All right. Yep. This is the Safari, and it is a three-bedroom, two-bath, double wide. And let me know what y'all think of it in the comments. Um, what y'all like it, about it, and what y'all don't like. Um, yeah, it'd be really helpful, you know, kind of. I like to get y'all's perspective. But yeah, this is uh, this is Chris again, and I'd like to tell everybody thank you for uh, watching, thank you for joining the channel. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe to it. The more the merrier. Hit that little bell icon for more notifications for whenever we come out with more content, just like these videos right here, and. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.